Carly Gum is a YouTuber who learned the hard way what happens when you stick your tongue to a pole in freezing weather. Eventually, she is able to rip her tongue away from the surface, leaving a red stain behind. I hope she is okay, but I wouldn't be surprised if her tongue needs medical attention by the end. When you've got a place called the dungeon in a state lockup, you're bound to run into some chills down your spine. It was taken on a ghost tour of the Missouri State Penitentiary in 2017. The first shot in the video reads, Picture taken of the showers minutes before entering the dungeon. Notice the light at the top is clearly off. Let's take a look. Folks in the video appear to be trying to contact spirits within the building asking if they exist. According to the video, they've received responses, although it's hard to detect the hisses, moans, and spoken word responses in the clip's audio. The video also claims that the light at the top before entering the dungeon was off, while the light turned on after leaving the dungeon. Curious, or did someone just hit the switch? Whatever the case, the paranormal seems to be at large in Missouri State. It's probably time to plan a prison break. There's a road in Quartz in Switzerland that defies all explanation according to some, and a lot of people have been nervously checking it out. Here's the deal. If you go to this stretch of mountainous highway on Google Maps, it looks pretty normal at first, but don't look up unless you want to scare. This is when the scenery goes from pleasant to mysterious. That's because peeking out from the sky is what appears to be a strange pink-red monument, or else some kind of giant being with its arm held out. You can click up and down any part of this road and still look up to find whatever this strange anomaly is gazing down from above. Some people say this sky sighting is a creature, but I have a much more rational and less exciting explanation. I'm pretty sure this is part of the pole, on top of the car that the camera is attached to. Normally this part of the car is edited out, but I guess some kind of glitch in their algorithm let a piece of it show. As a result, it looks like something suspended high above. That's my theory at least. Let me know if you agree, or if you think this really was some kind of strange sighting in the sky. Get thee to a nunnery. That's what this ghost of a nun did, and it didn't turn out well for her. Dima from YouTube channel A Sip of Fear encounters the nun's ghost in this scary video. First, he sees an unexplained shadow. Then he hears an unexplained noise. He senses something in this abandoned church. Still not seeing anything, a steady cam captures a quiet noise at night. Later, footsteps are heard. While we don't get a glimpse of the notorious nun, I can feel her presence in this sacred place, and it sure doesn't feel holy. You can see a lot more from a bird's eye view, but that doesn't make things any clearer. YouTuber Stromedy captured something truly disturbing from his drone in the middle of the night. Watch and see if you can make sense of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the dude? Whoa, what that? That's a runner, dude! That's a runner! Look, look! Now, now he just got up and started running! They're both running! Dude, They're both dude, running! Dude, dude, dude. Okay, guys, guys, calm, calm, stay calm, stay calm. People are running amok, knocking others over. What is happening here? I can't make heads or tails from this. And at ground level, it gets even stranger. I'm landing it. Wait, go! Yo, 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 
What is this guy after? I'd like to think this was some sort of game this group plays at night, but I have no idea what that game could be. Can anyone make sense of this? This paranormal crew's third visit to this prison did not disappoint. CVS Paranormal enters Dorchester Prison, a criminal facility in which executions have been carried out. In previous investigations of this prison, the team has captured some truly eerie figures on camera, like this one. As the team enters, whispering is heard on the audio. This is a big main entrance where down there is, um, yeah. Big main entrance where down there is, um. A second EVP captures a low growl. Prisoner was in here. Prisoner was in here. This is shortly followed by a door closing or opening. Sounded like a growl or something. Sounded like a growl or something. And scratching noises. This is a big one. Definite noises. This singing is what's really chilling. I, I just heard, I swear I just heard singing. It sounded like it's coming from here as well. Soldier. 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 But it's when you're not searching for ghosts that they come find you. Trust me. It seems Dorchester Prison is truly rife with activity, but whether it's good or evil is anyone's guess. At a once bustling market turned ghost town in China, this lone figure was captured on camera. Published by Paranormal Planet in February of 2020, the video shows a mysterious fog shadow moving into view. As Chinese lanterns hang all around, swaying with the wind, the figure moves across the walkway before it disappears from sight. The uploader writes, This footage was spotted by the person responsible for monitoring the street cameras. Is this a ghost? Or has the Grim Reaper come for us all? If you don't want poltergeists keeping you up at night, you might want to erase that pentagram on the wall. Published by Seeker of Ghosts in December of 2021, a demon poltergeist is captured in action in this scary video. The crew enters the apartment to find a red pentagram drawn on one wall with unusual symbology drawn around it. It seems like whoever was here before was welcoming demonic activity with open arms and the demons obliged. In one clip, a doll spins around on its own, sliding very quickly across the floor. Later, a string that's hanging across the room appears to be cut by something invisible. And then, the most shocking evidence, a stool flies across the room, scraping over the floor. <laughs> Are the demons responding to the pentagram? What are they trying to tell these ghost hunters? I think the best decision is to get the heck out of there. Oh, oh my god, this is so gross. I'm trying to look it up everywhere and I really can't like identify it because it looks so weird and different. A YouTuber named Super Tanks has a creepy unwelcomed guest in her aquarium and needs our help figuring out what it is. Someone commented that this looks like a highly toxic centipede that fell in, but Super Tank thinks that this might be an aquatic-based life form responsible for eating her shrimp. I agree with the giant insect theory because of its many legs and cylinder-shaped body, but maybe it's an exotic parasite or something even worse. Let's help solve this mystery and put her mind at ease with a correct answer. This statue is said to move her eyes repeatedly. 
Thousands of people flock to see it and some are saying that it happens here in this video. One person thought it might be blinking here. I definitely see it as well. Another person says her left arm moves. I don't see it. And I think those who do probably are getting fooled by unsteady camera work in my opinion. Still, thousands of people have visited this statue because apparently it moves. So maybe I'm the one who's wrong. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Eric relies on Randonautica to show them the scariest place place they've ever seen, and it doesn't let them down. They soon find themselves at the end of a long dirt road with multiple signs, and one of them is a warning. Google wasn't able to translate the wording perfectly, but apparently this sign says that the property is owned by a dangerous witch who has eyes on them at all times. If someone could tell me the full message, I would really appreciate it. They find two fences lined with creepy dolls. Some of the dolls are burned and have parts missing, as if they were used for black magic rituals before being placed on display as a warning for all to see. It must have taken a lot of time and dedication to collect so many dolls, and I wouldn't be surprised if the children who own them are being kept somewhere nearby. At the end of the road, they find three homemade mannequins wearing old clothes that could be scarecrows for a small garden or more ritual props. Do you guys see that? Something looks weird about the one on the left when they get closer. Since I don't see any crops, I don't think it's a garden. The way this is all set up looks more like a memorial, if anything. I wouldn't be surprised if some passed on individuals were buried below the earth here, and I don't think I want to find out. A little farther up the trail, they find this old shack that looks more like a place to hold somebody or something creepy like that rather than a place to live. They are about to explore the shed when they feel distant eyes upon them and go running. I have to say that seems like the right choice. The David Livingstone Center is a reportedly haunted museum in Glasgow, Scotland. As these paranormal investigators are about to discover for themselves, they aren't even finished setting up their equipment when the poltergeist activity begins. First, something falls in the darkness, and then a piece of equipment flips over in front of them. They go to where the other object fell over and find one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked by itself. Since we didn't see it happen on video though, I guess we just have to take their word. Later, they head over to the chapel area where they think they see something move, but it's too dark to tell. As if it's a person? Yeah. Oh, shit, I you. When they take a picture of the corner of the chapel, however, this image of a shadow person is what they find. A YouTuber named Maddie Ann thinks she sees something walking around her backyard, so she grabs a camera and a high-powered flashlight and sets out to record it. By the time she gets outside, she doesn't see it anymore, so she starts scanning the yard with her light to see if it will move again. The disfigured and misshapen shadow is what she finds. You can see it peeking from around a tree for a second before ducking back into the darkness. The shadow is not really the right size for a human and the head appears to be bald and shaped oddly. What's really weird is how the camera captures no features. If this was a person, then you should be able to see more details under the light. After all, the camera is able to pick up the brown color of the tree, so you would think that the person behind it would show some color too. Instead, Maddie Ann passes over a creature with a blank face. I don't think this was one of her friends, though I guess it could be someone wearing a costume with black mesh over the face. This scary paranormal investigation comes from an unknown uploader somewhere in Russia or Ukraine. Two brave ghost hunters pull up to a lone house rotting in the woods, a haunted place known for strange poltergeist activity. The inside looks fairly normal, but being here gives them an unshakable feeling of being watched. They're exploring room to room and soon don't see much activity until they get towards the back of the house. That's when things get weird. Okay, that's a lot of scary stuff to happen at once. 
I counted three creepy things, so let's go through them all. We all saw the ghost throwing objects to the ground, so that's one. You probably didn't see the shadow figure caught on camera seconds before it happened. That's two. A rising cry after the ghost throws an object to the ground is the third creepy thing. They are brave ghost hunters, so it's going to take more than that to make them scared enough to run back into the woods. More, but not much more. A ghost slams the door shut on a room that I guess they are forbidden to enter. Who knows what scary stuff went on back there. Strange secrets that even someone's ghost doesn't want you to know. And maybe it's just me, but right as the door slams shut, I think I see a shadow figure materialize at 1 minute and 55 seconds. Tell me if you see what I mean. Whatever they saw or felt or heard was scary enough to make them jump back in their car and never return. Hear that haunting whistle coming round the bend? It might just be the ghost train. Posted to YouTube by The Hidden Underbelly 2.0 in March of 2018, the CCTV footage purports to show a ghost train at the Baotou Railway Station in China. The uploader writes, When the station security were watching the surveillance cameras, they noticed this ghost train pull into the station. The eerie footage shows a transparent train pull up along the platform, mounted on the train tracks. As the uploader mentioned, the train pauses for its ghostly passengers to enter and exit before slowly leaving the station, picking up speed as around eight carriages move past. Some in the comments of this video suggest the train is just the Hogwarts Express or a failed cloaking spell from amateur wizards. Others say it's a train from a parallel universe. Some call out fake, saying this video is actually filmed in a Russian train state and has been debunked for being superimposed. Don't know about you, but I'd like to imagine this ghost train truly does exist and is transporting our recently departed to the afterlife. Published to YouTube by In Jamaica in August of 2017, this big almost catch occurred at the Hellshire Bridge. The camera approaches a large gathering of onlookers surrounding the bridge in question, where cars have pulled to the side of the road to watch the big event. Two young men have managed to nab the croc by the snout using a length of rope. The crowd cheers as the crocodile thrashes about and soon escapes his captors. They try again, throwing the rope into the murky water. After a few failed attempts to recapture it, they give up and the crowd disperses. Many in the comments below blame the lack of catch on the crowd, saying they're making too much noise and scaring the croc away. Perhaps they're right, but if you knew this monster was lurking below, could you suppress your fear? Have you ever filmed a video for your significant other, only to see something paranormal happen behind you? This video appears to show a military man sending a message to his girlfriend or wife, a woman named Trish, telling her he wishes he could be home with her. That's not the scary part, obviously. What's scary is what happens in the background. As he's filming his loving message, what appears to be a sweatshirt on the bed behind him moves of its own accord. And it's not just a small twitch, it's like someone is temporarily inside the sweatshirt. The movement is enough to catch the guy's attention. He looks over his shoulder, but that's when the fear is maxed out within him. Trish, I love you. I wish I could be home with you too. Uh, I know, I know we. As the cupboard doors beside him burst aggressively open, the man, plainly disturbed by this strange occurrence, gets up and looks around the cupboard and inside before fleeing the scene. Once he's left, one of the cupboard doors swings nearly closed. What is happening here? What is haunting this room? The ghost of a forgotten trooper? With just this video footage, I guess we'll never know. 
a YouTube channel called Raw Fishing sees something scary looking lurking in the grass nearby. Take a look at it and tell me if you would have the courage to charge at it and turn it over like he does. The creature is called an isopod, and its biggest defense is its hard shell. The legs and mouth look scary, but actually can't do anything to people, at least not directly. Taking it to a public restaurant, on the other hand, probably wasn't such a good idea. It's pretty funny and all, but I wouldn't want to eat anything after touching what essentially just came from a drainage pipe full of bacteria. I really hope the servers wipe down the high chair and table afterwards too. Speaking of which, at 10 minutes and 27 seconds, this fry makes possible contact with the creature's face, which she then dips and brings to her mouth. Is there any way to get a parasite from doing this? It's probably not likely, but I wouldn't want to take the chance has gotten into some crazy adventures in the past, but staying at this abandoned factory until 3am is probably one of the wildest yet. Outside, he finds a collection of what could be someone's belongings out in the forest, but decides to continue anyway. As soon as he puts his camera down to climb inside, he hears this noise. which I think sounds like a door being slammed as hard as possible. When he finally comes across an entrance, he finds the door has been kicked hard many times, like somebody leaves this way every day. Though to be honest, the footprints look to be about his shoe size, so maybe it was him. On the floor are dried red stains and a massive red streak across the wall that I think is paint, or at least I hope so. And that's when he hears it again, the same sound as before. Reaching into the door and this. Like, what the f? Someone's kicking doors open. Do they know he's here? Soon he comes across more red stains, but I think it's almost definitely paint considering the red wall has a similar streak on it as well. He's exploring various old burned out rooms. When it comes back, the same noise as before. Guys, that was loud as f Two bangs coming from opposite sides. He must be surrounded. The fact that Hype Mike is not taking off by now makes me think this almost has to be fake, and this explanation is really unlikely. What the f that was? Maybe it was like a bird or something. But just when I started to doubt this video, this really strange sound plays. This doesn't sound like the wind to me, especially how it ends, but tell me what you think it is and if it's paranormal. What the f Hype Mike makes it to nightfall without hearing any further noises. Maybe it's gone for now, whatever it is. He's trying to figure out a place to get some rest and wait out the rest of the challenge, but that's when the noises start again. Yo! Something just moved in there. Hello? I don't think I actually the room where it came from is completely empty, but the complex is still occupied by something that has been waiting for the right time to strike, and that time is now. Hype Mike runs out of there fast, but makes the mistake of taking one last look. Do you think this is one of his friends or a person who's lost their mind? An everyday Canadian is the name of a YouTuber who can't seem to stop attracting the attention of the paranormal. One night he goes ghost hunting with a friend at an old spot known as the Lakeview Cemetery. They're not making any jokes and being very respectful as they pass over the sacred ground. Aww, that's nice. 1923. Wow, eh? Yep. And at three minutes, his friend even performs a kind act. Oh, this person lost their flowers. Let's put it back in there for them. This light winks off as she passes by. This is what it looks like at three minutes and 20 seconds, completely off. 
And this is what it looks like at 3 minutes and 24 seconds, completely on. These lights are solar and wouldn't flicker off. She even says so herself at 2 minutes and 8 seconds, almost a full minute before any of this happens. Anywhere it's lit up, they have like solar lights. The light that does this is only 3 markers over from where she returned the flowers and happens 20 seconds later. I think she's definitely being contacted and told thank you. Is this the world's angriest poltergeist? Published by Paranoiacs in December of 2021. When the crew arrives at this place in the mountains, they quickly discover they're not alone. They enter the building and hear more and more banging noises. When the camera turns toward the door, a pale face can be seen briefly peering around it. More banging erupts upstairs. And it sounds like things are being thrown down to prevent the crew from coming up. They head back outside and the banging continues. This has sent one of the crew into hysterical laughter. You <laughs> Then the door bursts open. <laughs> back inside, things are still being thrown around. They head back to the stairs and finally venture upstairs, despite the poltergeist not letting up. Back on the ground floor, a large iron pole is thrown. And what sounds like footsteps are heard above them. When they make it to the top, they probably wish that they hadn't. Oh, <laughs> After more torment from the poltergeist, something again peers around the corner. Is this what's causing all the mayhem? If so, the power coming from this small figure is terrifying. A YouTuber named Unexpectedly is documenting his exploration of an old military facility. The abandoned building has reportedly since become a setting for an underground cult to perform strange and bizarre rituals, which he wants to learn more about. Daylight does not make this place any less terrifying as he crosses through hallways covered in cult warnings and symbols. Judging from this room and others like it, it seems as though the rumors are true. He stops to investigate a square panel on the floor that matches a hole in the ceiling. It gives him a bad feeling and I wouldn't be surprised if he was being watched closely from this hiding spot. A few minutes later, he's standing in the very middle of the structure and there's a little light here. That's when he hears rustling footsteps nearby. The footsteps cease soon and he finds another hole in the ceiling. It's almost like somebody is using these above ground tunnels as a way to stay one step ahead of him. Everything grows quiet and still once again. For some reason, a far door grabs his attention. You don't get to see them very clearly, but what appears to be a large hooded figure is standing on the other side. Whether this is scripted, paranormal, or a cult is up for you to decide. I am just glad he was near an exit and made it out alive. In August of 2020, a YouTuber named Ryan Privy launched a solo ghost hunting expedition in room 423 of Irwin Street Inn in California, which is said to be haunted by a rowdy ghost, three of them to be exact. He concentrates on getting a ghost on tape and soon he's surrounded by questionable noises, a strange tapping that sounds like it could be from the other room at first. But later, at 22 seconds to be precise, the weird sounds have graduated to the other side of his door. And then another clear knocking noise, like something coming from inside the wall. Yeah, knock. 
The ghost continues traveling around the room until Ryan suspects it's now at the window. Are you scratching on the window? It confirms its presence each time it makes a sound, and it makes a variety of sounds in a number of locations. So I think these scary noises are coming from an apparition in the same room as Ryan. This video shows a concerned sister checking in on her sleeping sibling. I'm not sure why she would be holding a camera to do so, but I guess she wanted to record the moment. A girl she has never seen before is hovering over her sister's bed without saying a word, and when she turns to leave to get help, the ghostly child teleports in the doorway to block her. Are you alright? Oh my god! The girl standing in the door does look like the same girl who is just standing by the bed. They are wearing the same outfit and have the exact same hair length and color, so I guess it's possible that this was a spirit. Then again, if this was staged, then maybe there was a second girl who was standing in the doorway the whole time to make it look like they teleported. This mysterious capture by YouTuber Gullion Rocher leaves me with many questions. Rocher explains in the description that she saw this strange man outside her window marking a tree. <laughs> The man can be seen doing something to the tree for a time before grabbing his dog's leash. After the stranger left, the YouTuber went to investigate. So, yan yan. It looks like the guy scraped the bark from one side of the tree, leaving a mark but for what purpose is still unclear. I'm not sure where this video is filmed, but YouTuber BioCyber suggests that the strange man is a Russian sleeper agent marking a target. This is where my head went to, although I wasn't specifically thinking Russian. This may be a spy or agent marking this site for himself or other agents to later find. What do you think is going on here? While investigating an old schoolhouse, this group's trail camera caught this unexplained happening, posted to the ghost subreddit. Key Consequence 7618 explains what we're looking at here. We had come from the first classroom walking towards the second classroom. This is a light in the doorway on the left just as the board jumps up. The board that he's talking about is a piece of plywood set in a doorway. It shudders long after they've entered the room, so it can't be a reverberation of the crew having walked on it. Further, as the Redditor said, a strange light appears in the window of the door, as if someone that was standing there left at that very moment. Although the Redditor says he and another member of his crew were the only two people in the house, it looks like they weren't alone. Geshmok has a YouTube page full of regular vacation videos and then one creepy paranormal video. This one, an abandoned house he found while exploring a suburb of Los Angeles. There are supposed to be two ghost sightings caught on video, but are they real? Let's take a look. A lot of comments say this is an apparition wearing a white dress in the window here. It's hard to see so you must pay attention. The ghost is wearing some kind of belt sash, like a bridal dress and she is looking down with her hair over her eyes, or maybe a bride's veal. Can you see it? In reality, I'm pretty sure it's just glare from the sun. This second ghost sighting is much more bizarre and likely to be real. Check out this window at 6 minutes and 13 seconds. Something lifts the curtains and a face is caught in the window for a brief moment. When I point at its all black eye, the rest kind of falls in place. You can see the nose and tight-lipped expression underneath. Definitely not human. And if it's a reflection of something outside, then I don't know what it could be. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Danny returns to a haunted chapel that has given him a bad feeling in the past. He is taking another look around when he detects shuffling in the next room over. What the was that? 
When he goes to check out the next room, it proves to be just as empty as the first. He doesn't see anything unusual and soon begins to record various plaques on the wall out of interest. Danny is looking over the names of soldiers when he casually sees something paranormal sticking out from behind a doorway. Ah! Oh my God! The scream in his throat sounds very real as he turns to find the unmistakable outline of a nun's head staring through him. It happens very quickly and it's hard to tell if it really is a ghost or not. Before you say fake though, first hear me out. The nun sighting happens at approximately two minutes into the video. Yet here you can see the doorway is completely empty at 1 minute 45 seconds, a full 15 seconds prior. The video appears to be taken in one continuous take with no editing. Therefore, I believe there is a strong possibility that this sighting is real. John of a paranormal channel called Exploration Unknown investigates an abandoned farmhouse late at night. He and two other ghost hunters split up and then reconvene downstairs to discuss what they found, which was little more than some empty rooms and loose steps. The floors upstairs are pretty spongy. I, I did it, but... I doubt it. After talking with Tim, John walks through the first floor, and at 11 minutes, a shadow figure is caught on tape moving above him. We've got the K2 meter over here in this window. We're getting things set up. All right. And then in here, we got Josh on the porch. It's not Josh because Josh is on the porch outside, and it's not Tim because they just had a conversation about how dangerous the floor was up there. And for some reason, the legs remain covered in darkness, even though enough light hits the area to show the banister is brown. So there's a strong chance that this ghost video is real. Oh my God. This is a really humorous and random situation, but let's face it, if a wild seabird were to land on you, I don't think many of us would be able to take it with a smile like this brave cameraman does. He makes no sudden movements, not wanting to attract the bird's hungry gaze or its beak to his fingers. Believe it or not, I looked up pelican human encounters and found out that the sides of its beak are razor sharp, so this situation could have actually gone wrong quick. I don't know whether this pelican wanted to take some of his fingers or take a rest, but it seems to realize it's outnumbered and takes off. Heads up, it's watching. Posted to the ghost subreddit by Nimrose, something demonic is peeking out from behind this tree. A woman is walking down a forest path at night in Sweden, but she doesn't notice that she's not alone. Look to the right of the tree. A creepy, long-haired, demon-like figure peeks out for a split second before hiding itself again. I'm surprised it didn't snatch her when she walked past. Some in the comments are saying it was Krampus, the terrifying horned Christmas demon from European folklore. Others think it's a person in a mask. Still, others are more distracted by the eyes that pop out at the base of the tree at nearly the same time as the demon. Well, that can be explained away as a raccoon or other animal. What about the demon person? Any theories? Central State Insane Asylum in Indianapolis has many secrets. Published to YouTube by D Holmes12345 in October of 2006, this is an orb video. But hold up, don't change the video. While a lot of the times orbs caught on video appear to be faint and dust like, this one is different. The large, glowing orb is seen behind a fence at the end of a walkway. The orb hovers and then starts floating to the right. As the man filming backs away, startled, some in the comments are all in, saying this is what a legit orb looks like. Others are convinced it's a light reflecting off of something. Others note that, while you're distracted by the orb, something peeks out at the door at the beginning of the video. Watch again, do you see it? Considering these two figures appear in just 14 seconds of video, it's pretty clear this asylum is a hotspot for paranormal activity. 
A YouTube channel called Exploring with Fighters travels to the same tunnel system as Dark Arts TV. He is explaining his nervous anticipation when a loud scrape occurs directly over his shoulder. No one is near him. You can tell by everyone's distant chatter that they are pretty far away. Listen for yourself and tell me if you agree no one else was nearby. At least, no one alive. This video is going to be far. They all get a really bad feeling upon discovering what could be fragments of human. Look at this part and tell me if he is tossing a part of someone's jaw or just a random piece of debris. I was wondering if these could belong to an animal, but then they discover a large collection of combs left over top. Like this one, for example. So I think we may have sadly found our answer. They are ready to leave before they come across any other horrible discoveries, but something follows them. This extremely creepy low laugh follows them on their way out, while the rest of the audio remains the same. In fact, what's especially scary is how one of these girls lets out a small chuckle shortly before this noise comes out. Almost as if it's laughing in response. Listen for yourself and tell me if you think this is edited or not. A four-year-old is happily drinking his juice until for some reason the straw stops working. His protective parents get a bad feeling and curiously inspect the package to see what's wrong. And this is what it's inside. Nasty. A thick green clump of sludge clings to the bottom and blocks the straw. Slowly, they realize their child has been unknowingly sucking on what could be a giant floating piece of moldy gel. As if that wasn't bad enough, the father flips it over with a straw to reveal an even worse looking underside. Ew. <gasps> oh my god. Again, look at that. The alien-looking growth is probably loaded with bacteria and far from safe to consume. So if you've ever been enjoying a packaged drink and the straw stopped working, I guess you now know a reason why. This strange knocking happens at the same time every night and no other times during the day. 2 in the morning. This is definitely no animal. Whoever is knocking wants to make its presence known and apparently wants to get in now, immediately. I can also hear a strange paranormal voice before they knock during this part. I don't think it's the television because you don't hear it during any other part of the video. He shows us the outside of the trailer, and clearly nothing is out of the ordinary. Yet when he returns indoors, so does the knocking from outside. Five minutes has been doing it. Hopefully whatever this is never gets the idea to try the door. Two siblings go into their room after hearing a small, unrecognizable voice call to them. In their toy trunk, they discover a bizarre looking doll that neither of them can remember putting in there. The doll remains silent until one of them goes to grab it. <laughs> it's it's creepy, really creepy. Creepy. They aren't sure what to make of the toy at this point, but look what happens when they have a discussion while still in its presence. Look at its little skinny legs. <laughs> that thing is like I know disturbing. It almost seems to respond to a comment about its legs by kicking twice and laughing. It's as if the toy knows what they are saying and is trying to play with their mind. Tell me whether or not you think that this could be an early warning sign of a poltergeist in their home. The crew from Rhoda X, Investigaso Paranormal, enters a house with many demons. Even before entering, they spot on the roof. Fica um homem de preto ali em cima. Is that a gargoyle? The cameraman then captures this terrifying anomaly in a window.
they get a reading on their EMF meter and energy is near. Then one of their paranormal devices jumps off the charts. And it continues to go haywire around their equipment. Lastly, this happens. That was obviously a bat, but what about the other creepy captures? This one in particular haunts me. A Reddit user named Necromimi posted this CCTV of a ghost captured at her friend's home. A translucent figure walks back and forth from one side of the room to the other multiple times, often fading from sight about midway across and reappearing a few feet away. After a while, it becomes slower and moves in place, eventually fading away into an orb that floats up towards the camera and disappears. The remarkable timing of this event rules out any possibility of a glitch, which makes me suspect that this was either some clever editing or truly paranormal. These are the home videos of two of the most evil Canadians ever, Paul Bernardo and Carla Homoka. The pair are a husband and wife team who took at least three lives in the early 90s. Although these home videos show the couple's normal everyday life, their wedding day, celebrating holidays, etc., investigators were haunted by the secret home videos of the pair committing horrific acts. After a plea bargain in which Carla claimed to have been an unwilling accomplice, she was sentenced to only 12 years, while Paul received a life sentence. However, the videotapes that came out after the plea agreement showed that Carla had been much more active in the events than she had claimed. Subsequently, the Canadian press called her deal with prosecutors the deal with the devil. Carla was released from prison in 2005. She's now remarried and lives in Quebec. A YouTuber named Jonathan Russo is renovating a room in his home. When he discovers something out of place, he taps on a bottom portion of the wall and it sounds hollow, so he cuts away a hole. And I find a hidden room underneath the house. The space is lined with old bricks and carries an ominous and foreboding atmosphere. Jonathan feels very out of place and doesn't stay for long. It's pretty creepy. The room itself appears to have no structural purpose and seems to be walled off for no reason. This, combined with Jonathan's reluctance to go any further, raises some questions. I wonder what happened in there, if anything, that would cause a previous owner to seal it away. Outside of their apartment, a husband and wife capture a strange reflection in the window that is too curious to ignore. They grab an infrared camera, and this mysterious unexplained video is what they've caught on tape. <sighs> At the very beginning of this video, three seconds in to be precise, a full zoom does appear to have caught a possibly real ghost sighting on video in greater detail. You can discern a tuft of her white hair, the folds of her robe, her older looking face, and what direction she is facing. Theirs. As soon as they turn on the lights for a better look, the figure is gone. Same window. Same window, and there's nothing there now, no matter what I do. These are. And when he switches the camera back into infrared mode, the mode he first detected the spirit with, it does not return. There's infrared. Right there in that curve. I know it. You know it, right on that side. Back to normal. There's just nothing there. 
It's almost as if nothing was ever there to begin with, and yet the paranormal evidence caught on camera proves at one point there was. Maybe they were holding something up to the glass to make it reflect this image and took it away, though I don't know what that something would be. Fearless Fox X has his bravery put to the test when a creepy stranger returns to his house for a second time in one night. Listen for the scary voice in the background. Just looking at it, and she was like talking for herself. And she was there for like at least 10 minutes, and then she went to my. She went to my brother's car and she's just saying all kinds of crazy stuff and talking to herself. Camera in hand, he creeps up on the stranger to see what else can be caught on video for all to see. Wow, this she's creeping me out, dude. She's like shaking her head around and moving her arms like she's being possessed. The closer he gets, the quieter the stranger becomes. The darkness grows still, tense, and he dares not turn on his light. I'm scared. Will I? Proud I? Proud I? What the fuck? He makes a bold assumption that this person is completely clueless about where he is, but the mysterious figure is more self-aware than any of us could have ever imagined. She has no idea I'm right behind her. He decides to go home quick, and we never get a closer look at the mysterious figure in the darkness. A YouTuber named Sand General captures the moving shadow of a mysterious creature on tape in the Phoenix Desert late at night. He and his friend are cautiously driving down a dark and spooky country road when their dog starts making low whining noises that they've never heard before. Sand General stops the car and aims his phone camera. This bizarre encounter with an unknown creature is what he catches on video. A roaming shadow that stands out from the scenery is caught mysteriously moving from left to right. It looks like the rather large outline of some kind of desert monster waiting to ambush them. And so they turn around and get out of there fast, which is the right plan in my opinion. I would suggest that this large shadow figure is video editing, except listen to the dog. It's genuinely terrified and trying to tell them that they should be scared too. Solo Brenner claims to have caught a ghost on camera at an abandoned cemetery somewhere in Brazil. Across the street is a shadow figure caught moving on tape. It looks pretty decent until you zoom in and see the ghost sighting is most likely a blur effect or a camera glitch. The date and time look messed up too, further evidence that the CCTV video has been edited and not paranormal. Bright lights can play tricks on you, but this is not a trick. Published by Lane Ghost Hunter in August of 2011, this scary phantom was captured on camera in a driveway. The driveway is dark at first, nothing there. When the car turns on its headlights, the woman holding the camera gasps. That's because she sees this creepy, semi-transparent figure appear against the wall for a moment. After shaking in fear, the camera steadies, and the figure is gone. Do you see it, or is it just a figment of our collective imaginations? Sean learned about summoning Bloody Mary from a friend. He thought about it for a couple days and then decided to try it for himself to see what happens. First, he tries to summon her with the lights on and he isn't surprised when that method doesn't work. Next, he tries it with the lights off, which is something that he is a little hesitant to do and with good reason too. He says her name three more times and this is what he sees. Oh God. 
The hunched over figure behind him gives him a startle and Sean turns out the lights just to make the terrifying scene go away. When he turns the lights back on, she has vanished. Just like in other videos, the doorknob gets jammed as he tries to leave and then it suddenly releases. He retreats into the main area of his house and the video ends. I will say that this video could very well be fake. Maybe Bloody Mary is really just his sister or someone else he knows. His reaction seems a little off too, kind of like it could have been staged. But then again, he might have been really frightened and just trying to keep his cool for the camera. It's hard to tell for certain. Luxia is investigating a purportedly haunted cemetery. As they approach the area, they find a lifeless animal near a tree. Todo lo que hay eh, gualichos. Acá pueden ver, pueden corroborar que hay un animal, miren, un animal muerto también, de los de los gualichos que se hacen acá en esta en esta zona. ¿Lo puedes levantar, por favor? Sí. Ve, este animal. He captures some of the tombs on video. Puede ver uno de los allá atrás se puede apreciar. No sé si alcanza la toma de mi celular porque mi celular es un celular muy 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 bajo en resolución. Pero bueno, vamos a caminar a ver si podemos ver algo. And then he and his entire extended family continue walking until they see what they came for. Mira, 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 mira. No, 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 esto de no creer, esto, esto de no creer, de no creer, vamos. Corran, 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 corran. La verdad que no me lo podía esperar. Did you see that figure? The figure in white appears very small and moves slowly through the tall grass. After putting some distance between them and the mysterious creature, the cameraman turns around to capture one last glimpse. Ahí se ve. Ahí se ve. La verdad que se mueve. Está en movimiento. La verdad que Jesús de Nazaret. No, no, vamos, corran, corran. Agarrónene, 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 agarrónene. Is it a witch? A ghost? The YouTuber believes it's an elf. I'm wondering if he might be on the right track. But in that case, why not stick around to see if it's good or evil? A YouTuber named MKP Studios wants to record some creepy Alexa moments on camera, so he decides to ask Alexa some creepy questions to see how scary Alexa can get. He starts off by asking Alexa a question about passing away. At first, he receives a thoughtful reply. Everyone has their own views on that question. But then he makes the mistake of asking the same question twice. Ask that once more, Alexa. What happens after She just straight up doesn't answer that second time. He says that Alexa mysteriously turns off by itself, but at 4 minutes and 8 seconds, it looks like there was some quick editing to make it look like that's what happened. Anyway, there's one creepy question that you should never ask Alexa, so that's exactly what he starts asking. Give me the 5-9. Proceed carefully, because your choices are recorded, and your every move is watched. There are no cuts this time, at least none that I can see. It seems like Alexa just straight up warned him that he was under surveillance for saying some kind of code phrase. He's already feeling watched and paranoid, and what makes this scary Alexa moment even scarier is that Alexa won't stop referring to him as a friend. So, hello friend. Alexa. Welcome to the Daily Fox. Stop. Hello friend. What the Alexa, stop talking. Hello, friend. The only way to make Alexa stop saying the mysterious response is to unplug it. Later on, he decides why not see if he can get some scary Suri responses too. To be honest, Suri responds with mostly normal answers. That is, until the program slips up and possibly reveals who it's really working for. Hey Siri, can I speak to the devil? Sure, I'm here. <laughs> That's creepy. He can't believe what he hears, so he decides to ask Siri the same question in a different way, hoping to get a different response. This time, he uses a word I can't say. It's another name for the Lord of the Underworld. Can I talk to... Of course. 
course. That's what I'm here for. Go ahead. No such luck. Suri responds. Suri answers the question both times in the affirmative. I definitely agree that such a scary response from Suri would be creepy to hear, especially while alone in your house. I'm hoping that Suri somehow misheard him both times, but something tells me it knows exactly what he's asking. I wouldn't recommend asking Suri and Alexa any creepy questions unless you want some strange moments of your own. Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Oh, I move this. Move this way. Scary cat, dude. It could have been rats or whatever. What about it? We got a whole bunch of rats. The one who hasn't heard the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like the light right there, the string. It's around here somewhere. Hold up. Oh, I can't reach. Can't reach. I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. Dude. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. Hold up. Oh, shit! One minute and 27 seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening up to greet him. He's screaming and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space before it reaches him. The man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure, but think about it. Can't reach, I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. Why would there be a chair positioned directly under his crawl space entrance? Unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home. I don't think this is a ghost haunting the basement. I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. Anyway, that's my analysis, but what do you make of this strange sighting? If you hear something outside, don't go investigate. You might not like what you find. Published to YouTube in July of 2006, TCAN456 writes, Just watch, but not before you go to bed. Take his advice. In this home video, our friend, who is clearly scared judging by his breathing patterns, looks around his house after hearing something and then heads outside to investigate. He passes a large potted plant as he turns a corner. Nothing appears to be there, but when he turns back, a figure flees from behind the plant and races into the darkness. The cameraman runs after it but quickly loses the creature. He searches along some thick hedges in his backyard and soon faces the plant man again. Instead of searching him out further, he races inside, locking the door behind him, runs to his room, locking that door too and gets in bed. All the while there is banging. <laughs> although it's not clear where the sound is coming from. The rest of the video is nothing but a black screen, one upon which you keep expecting a jump scare to surface. Don't worry, the fear is over. But my questions about this video remain unanswered. Restaurant workers from Sansom Park in Texas think they've caught an authentic ghost sighting on CCTV video, a dark paranormal mist that exits the passenger side and goes into the building. I would say that this was an in insect crawling across the camera, but watch closely and at 2 minutes and 4 seconds you'll see a flicker of lines across the screen moments before the ghost appears. EMF interference like this could be an indication of something paranormal. They felt this place was haunted for a long time and are finally excited to have proof. Tell me if you believe them. Watch your brains, there's a zombie on the loose. Published by Mr. Illusion in February of 2022, this YouTuber captured what he thinks is a zombie on camera. Dressed all in black, the figure lurches through the high grass. 
glass. On closer inspection, he appears to be missing his cranium. Despite this, the crew follows this creepy figure, who also looks to be carrying a tool or small hatchet in his hand. He weaves through the woods, off on a mission to do what, I'm not quite sure. Is this a zombie? Or something out of the mind of Ichabod Crane? A YouTuber named Nosy is poking around an old abandoned home that is in rough shape. The place is crumbling on all sides and covered in debris. Some sections look like they could collapse at any minute, so he doesn't go too far inside. It's the middle of the day though with plenty of natural light, so Nosy creeps around the outskirts and even dares to check out a few rooms for a better look. He's having a look through one of the more secure looking rooms on the bottom floor when apparently something notices his presence and starts rushing his way. Nosy wisely retreats out to the nearest exit and cuts his adventuring short for the day. The upstairs was not safe for him to explore so it's doubtful that someone would live up there, though still possible I suppose. Either way, the footsteps were clearly human and not from an animal, and Nosy was clearly all by himself throughout this video. Therefore, the only other explanation I can come up with, besides a homeless person, is an actual ghost. Whatever it is, Nosy says that he will go back to the house and solve the mystery once and for all. So be sure to check on his channel to see if he ever does. I hope he stays safe and I wish him the best of luck. A man in Indonesia goes exploring the most haunted places of his home country to unlock supernatural myths of a different official nature, hence the channel's name. Out here, the ghost world has formed communities deep in the rainforest. He knows this place well and senses one near. <laughs> Standing before him is an eerie apparition that gives me anxiety like something has gone wrong. The paranormal exploration does not end with him running away. He has become strangely at ease around them, less terrified over time, or maybe okay with them all along. <sighs> After a little more exploring, our adventurer finds a second spirit and does not come as near. He might be afraid, but I think he's simply respecting their space. I did some research and this creepy video looks like a possibly real ghost sighting of a Pokong spirit. Seen mostly in Indonesia and Malaysia, it's said that the spirit's appearance under the shroud depends on the current state of their physical body. In other words, if he were to look underneath, he would see how rotten they were. But he dares not do such a thing. These are his ancestors and he might have wanted to show us that there are real ghost videos on the internet if you know where to look, and that a ghost haunting the woods doesn't automatically mean it's one of the scariest places in the world. It's a really good point, but this scary video's got me freaked out nonetheless. A family is sharing a meal when someone uninvited shows up for dinner. Originally posted on TikTok by an unknown user, this video was shared by YouTuber Arte Morbid. Take note of the bowl on the corner of the table. When the family realizes it's moving, they all watch. But it doesn't move again. Many believe it's just a wet plate on a slick surface. It does appear to move in one direction, so I'd consider that theory. Or maybe dearly departed Uncle Ned has joined the group for dinner. What do you think is going on here? 
A statue of Sai Baba became a topic of mass speculation across India in 2016 when it was apparently caught shrugging its shoulders, causing a clothing article to come off. The obvious answer is that this clothing item simply came undone and fell off over time, but at 24 seconds the statue appears to possibly roll its shoulder to make it fall off. What's especially odd though is that at 45 seconds, when everything seems to have fully unfolded and settled, the clothing article jumps off where the statue's hand is, did it move again? There could have been wind currents from air conditioning or a draft to knock this loose in my opinion. Otherwise, it could have been a simple case of gravity and time. The Leeds Library in the United Kingdom attracts top academics and research scholars and apparently ghosts too. At least if this paranormal sighting caught on camera is to be believed. The spooky ghost activity was caught on tape during a paranormal investigation led by a group called Spirit Truth Seekers. Watch the camera blur when an apparition walks up and touches her at 6 minutes and 27 seconds. Okay, oh my God, I'm feeling, I am feeling a breeze. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Are you stood by the lady across the There's table? There's definitely something here. Hi. Yeah. I've just got a shiver. <laughs> The ghost meter goes off at the exact same time she feels the presence of something paranormal. A psychic with them says this ghost's name is John. Are you the same male as we were talking to earlier? Ooh, spy. And it isn't long before John the ghost is communicating with them through an EVP session caught on tape, British accent and all. Say it again clearly, please. Circle. Where were you, sir? Tell them certain shot, the ghost says, perhaps alluding to how it passed away. The EVPs are cryptic, but then one message comes across very clearly. Are you happy? Uh -huh. Hide, John says in a commanding voice. I would have probably gone running out of there, but they ask some more questions and then, after failing to get much information, the ghost hunters called the EVP session to a close. The Leeds Library is over 250 years old, so I have no problem believing it's haunted and this paranormal investigation is real. This video was reportedly taken by a Navy patrol boat off the coast of Chile in South America. What appears to be a gigantic, slow-moving UFO is soon confirmed by both the Navy and a nearby air traffic control tower to not be one of their own. I was thinking maybe this was an ordinary blimp or a helicopter until it emits some kind of inky mystery substance at the 8 minute 18 second mark. The camera cuts away for a bit and then approximately 5 seconds later you can see the substance has solidified into a thick, clumpy mass. As if that isn't weird enough, the UFO then detaches itself from the mass, which hangs completely suspended in midair, and keeps on going until it's no longer in sight. I have certainly never seen an aircraft do that before, and it doesn't look normal at all. If this is not edited, then I have little doubt that this visitor is from another planet entirely. The paranormal boys experience crazy paranormal activity in this place frozen in time. As they're speaking to the spirits, they hear something. Did you hear that? That was definitely a knock. Later, using a spirit box app, they capture this. As they continue speaking, they're sent some terrifying messages. If you're in this room, can you affect some of the devices we put down? Where are you, Tom? Was that Ben? And then the spirits respond directly. Copy this. You f***ing joking me. Did you hear that? Still, it warns them. Hey, yes, just sitting in the sofa. What was that? Dead. Dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> There's someone upstairs. Can you hear that up there? Living. Can you hear that up there? Living. 
Since the team won't listen to the spirit's warnings, it takes matters into its own hands. I thought you pushed my arm then. Something just... Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Something just pushed my arm. What pushed his arm? I think it was Jeffrey. But in the end, it could be any one of the demons haunting this place. This unexplained shadow was uploaded by a paranormal ghost hunter named K. Owen. I think it could just be a fast-moving insect, especially since this was recorded on a summer night in the south. But according to K, this is the spirit of a poltergeist in Kentucky who eventually went on to become quite destructive. If K's story is to be believed, then this unexplained shadow is the spirit of a person who took a woman's life in this camper years ago. The deranged paranormal entity would eventually go on to destroy the camper by burning it down just two weeks into the paranormal investigation. Kastani Health and Beauty channel called Beautify With Me recently caught a creepy sighting on video that has left them horrified. A hooded figure in black robes is caught on multiple CCTV cameras, haunting the outside of their house. It looks pretty scary until the figure walks by the first camera, at which point you can see they are wearing sneakers or some kind of modern looking footwear that doesn't exactly match the rest of their spooky outfit. Still, this video is a major departure from the rest of their channel, and this is a really weird video to fake a day before Christmas, so maybe it's real. Not necessarily a real ghost video, but maybe a creepy stranger encounter caught on CCTV. Whatever it is, the mysterious figure hasn't shown up on her security camera since, and hopefully never will. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press Press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.